Who in the world are these two people? What do you think of these Peking Opera costumes? Today, we'll take you behind the scenes in a Peking Opera studio. All of this and more in this edition of Shanghai A to Z. Hey, do you recognize us? I'm your host, Stephen. And I'm Shi Li Dong. Welcome to this edition of Shanghai A to Z. You're probably wondering, what in the world are they doing in these clothes? Let's turn back the clock and show you what happened. Hey, Stephen, yeah. I watched the episode where you went backstage at Peking Opera performance. Yeah. What was that like? It was really cool, but Sunny and I didn't have a lot of time because uh -huh. the performance was about to start. Yeah. Well, today I'm taking you to a place where we can find out more what happens backstage. So, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Peking Opera is a form of traditional Chinese theater which combines music, vocal performance, mime, dance, and acrobats. It was extremely popular in the Qing Dynasty court and has come to be regarded as one of the cultural treasures of China. Even until now, a lot of people still enjoy this traditional art, including many foreigners who come to China. Here's the studio where people can realize their dreams of becoming a Peking opera actor. Professional Peking opera specialists will put on the makeup for you and help you select the costumes. And if you want, they can even teach you some professional Peking opera stances. Well, there's so many good options. Uh -huh. I want to be the Monkey King. Really? Yeah. Oh, Oh, maybe Oh, why? Because Oh, Oh, so now I'll start my long journey of waiting. Hey, Lino, how's it going? Oh, very good. Ooh, that's scary. <laughs> wow. Like ghost like. Uh huh, but it actually feels like I'm getting a facial. It's like a mask. Well, it's taking longer than I thought, so I'm going to go sit over and wait for the All right, see you later. Getting some color on my face, some uh, nice red eyeshadow, and some lipstick, so I don't look so ghost-like anymore. Ooh. Mm. 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 Finally, it's my turn to do the makeup. But I find I was totally wrong. Makeup for men in Peking Opera is also a long process, which is just beginning. Hey, Lasher. Hmm? Why is this face up and down? I don't know if it's a difference between the two. Is there a difference? Oh, because you today is Tang Meihuang. He's an old man. And in this situation, we're going to use this kind of thing. This is called a spring bath. 然后那种你刚才所谓的这种圆的那种，对，半圆形的，是一个像月亮门的一样的，是一般是小生来装扮的，这是人物上的区别。There are four roles in Peking Opera: Sheng, Dan, Jing, and Chou. The Sheng is the male protagonist. The role has numerous subtypes. The Lao Sheng is a dignified older role, which has a gentle and cultivated disposition, and this character wears sensible costumes. Younger male characters are known as Xiao Sheng. The Dan refers to any female role in Peking Opera. And the Jing is a painted face male role, while the Chou is a male clown role. Of these four roles, only the Jing and Chou roles have elaborate facial makeup called Lian Pu. Hey, it's big enough for the both of us. Hey, Lao Shu, this it's incredible. 
wearing this, you still have to sing and dance. I feel like I'm being wrapped up like a gift. And it's really hard to be a Peking opera actor because so many complicated clothes are required. The costume expert told me that he uses a tight rope to lift my brow in order to make me look more solemn. But it really just gives me a headache. Does it look like I'm surprised? So do I look good? Do I look like an emperor? Shanghai to Z, do we bring you two dynasties in one feature? Mm -hmm. well, how do you feel in your outfit? Ah, this the costume is painful. This like head contraption is like squeezing my brain and skull. It really hurts. <laughs> and what about you? How do you feel? I feel like I'm being pressed down because this is so heavy. Yeah. The head piece is like, I think it's a few kilos. And your backpack there. Yes, Watch that's it. pretty heavy too. Yeah. But you know, we're going to find a teacher who's going to teach us some Peking opera. All right, well, let's go, and we've got to go slowly this time because my shoes are so tall. Yes. I feel like I'm walking on bricks. <laughs> Stay tuned for the yeah. most exciting moment. Li Dong and I will learn some Peking opera stances. This is a in order to show the dignity of an emperor, I have to stand like this and straighten my beard. Then I have to raise my right hand, twirl my sleeve, and issue a royal decree with my left hand. <laughs> it's not so easy. It's also really difficult to stand on platform shoes. They're not so comfortable, and it's easy to fall. Hey, Steven, how's it going? That's great. Yeah? I really like what she taught me. Watch mm. this. OK. This is the movement of the emperor. And when I do this, yeah. everyone has to do what I say. OK. Oh. So next time I do this, uh -huh. you have to do whatever I tell you. Well, next time when you do that to me, I'll do this in response. So good to take this hat off. It's so painful. Oh really? It's stuck. I don't think I take it off. off. No. Hello. Peking opera is a great part of Chinese culture with hundreds of years history. Mm -hmm. And you have many opportunities to watch Peking opera at the World Expo. Come on, Lidon. Let's go get this makeup off. Yeah, it's uh, too much. Hey, thanks for watching our show. We learned a lot today. I learned that being an emperor or a Peking opera actor is not easy. If you have any comments or suggestions, please email us. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.